Please read us a story, old bear. We'll all gather round. Dear old bear, sit in your favorite chair. We'll sit all around, all around, dear old bear. It wasn't anybody's birthday. But Bramwell Brown had a feeling that today was going to be a special day. He was sitting thoughtfully on the windowsill with his friends Duck, Rabbit and Little Bear when he suddenly remembered that someone wasn't there who should be. A very long time ago, his good friend Old Bear had been packed away in a box. Then he was taken up a ladder, through a trapdoor and into the attic. The children had been too rough with him and he needed somewhere safe to go for a while. Has Old Bear been forgotten, do you think? Bramwell asked his friends. I think he might have been, said Rabbit. Well, said Little Bear, isn't it time he came back down with us? The children are older now and would look after him properly. Let's go and get him. What a marvellous idea, said Bramwell. But how can we rescue him? It's a long way up to the attic, and we haven't got a ladder. Hmm. Perhaps we could build a tower of bricks, suggested Little Bear. Everyone agreed it was a good idea, and so they all scrambled down from the windowsill. Duck and Little Bear set about building the tower, while Rabbit and Bramble Brown gathered up all the bricks they could find. The tower grew very tall, taller even than Duck and Little Bear together. Soon all the bricks that could be found had been collected. Little Bear very carefully put the last one in place. Suddenly the tower began to wobble. Oh! Look out, he cried as the whole thing came tumbling down. Oh dear, said Little Bear. Perhaps that wasn't such a good idea. Not one of your best, said Bramwell. Never mind, we'll just have to think of something else. I know, said Rabbit. Let's try bouncing on the bed. Rabbit jumped up onto the bed. Come on, everyone, he called. We could go really high up here. And as Rabbit began bouncing happily up and down, the others all climbed up to join him. Soon, they were all bouncing. Higher and higher, but still they couldn't reach the trapdoor in the ceiling. Duck began to cry. Oh, dear, he sobbed. <laughs> we'll never be able to rescue old Bear and he'll be stuck up there getting lonelier and lonelier forever and ever. We mustn't give up, said Bramwell firmly. Come on, little bear, you're good at ideas. I've got it, he cried. I could climb up the plant, swing from the leaves, kick the trapdoor open and jump in. In case it wobbled, Bramwell Brown, Duck and Rabbit steadied the pot. Little Bear bravely climbed up the plant. With a bit of a struggle, he managed, at last, to reach the very top leaf. He took hold of it and started to swing to and fro. But he swung so hard that the leaf broke and he went crashing down. Luckily, Bramwell Brown was right underneath to catch him in his paws. That was a rotten idea, said Little Bear. What I was thinking, said Duck, was that it's a pity I can't fly very well, as I could have been quite a help. Aha, said Bramwell. That, my dear Duck, has given me a very good idea. In the corner of the room was a little wooden aeroplane with a propeller that went round and round. We could use this plane to get to the trap door, said Bramwell. Rather dangerous, I know, 
but quite honestly, I can't bear to think of old Bear up there alone for a minute longer. I'll be pilot, said Rabbit, and I'll stand on the back and push the trap door open with this paintbrush, said Little Bear. But how will you get down? asked Duck. I've already thought of that, said Bramwell, who hadn't really, but quickly did. Uh, you can use these handkerchiefs as parachutes, and we'll catch you in a blanket. Rabbit gave Little Bear a torch so he could see into the attic. Now, put those in your bag, said Bramwell, while I wind up the propeller. Soon the little plane was ready to go. Bramwell began the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one... Zero! They were off. The plane whizzed along the carpet and flew up into the air. The first time they passed the trapdoor, Little Bear was able to push the lid open with his paintbrush. Then Rabbit circled the plane again, this time very close to the hole. Little Bear grabbed the edge. And with a mighty heave, he pulled himself inside. He got out his torch and looked around. The attic was very dark and quiet, full of boxes, old clothes and dust. He couldn't see old Bear at all. Any bears in here? he whispered. From somewhere quite near came a muffled roar. Little Bear moved a few things aside, and there, propped up against a cardboard box and covered in dust, was Old Bear. Old Bear! Old Bear! I found Old Bear! he shouted. So you have, said Old Bear. Have you been lonely? Quite lonely, said Old Bear. But I've been asleep a lot of the time. Well said Little Bear kindly. Would you like to come back to the playroom with us now? That would be lovely, replied Old Bear. But how will we get down? Don't worry about that, said Little Bear. Bramwell has thought of everything. He's given us these handkerchiefs to use as parachutes. Good old Bramwell, said the old teddy. I'm glad he didn't forget me. Old Bear stood up and shook the dust out of his fur. And Little Bear helped him into his parachute. Ready, shouted Rabbit. Steady, shouted Duck. Go, shouted Bramwell Brown. The two bears leapt bravely from the hole in the ceiling. Their handkerchief parachutes opened out and they floated gently down landing safely in the blanket. Welcome home, old bear, said Bramwell Brown. It's nice to have you back. It's nice to be back, replied old bear. Then all the toys gathered round, hugging and patting their old friend. That night, when all the animals were tucked up in bed, Bramwell thought about the day's adventures and looked at the others. Rabbit was dreaming exciting dreams about bouncing as high as an aeroplane. Duck was dreaming that he could really fly and was rescuing bears from all sorts of high places. Little Bear was dreaming of all the interesting things he'd seen in the attic. And Old Bear was dreaming about the good times he would have now he was back with his friends. Hmm, I knew it was going to be a special day, said Bramwell Brown to himself. <laughs>